right uh, let's move on to these examples uh, under quadratic inequalities so all right so you have to uh, for this case you have to rearrange first right so that you can see either it's a linear inequality or quadratic inequality so uh, you can expand become 2 minus with 2x greater or equal 3x to the power of 2 plus with 3x right uh, plus with 3x so uh, you can bring over all this to the other side so 3x to the power of 2 uh, plus 2x plus 2x so 3x plus 2x you have you have uh, 5x right you have 5x and negative 2 right negative 2 okay so this one you can rewrite as 3x to the power of 2 plus with 5x minus 2 less or equal 0 right uh, then you have this quadratic uh, you have this quadratic form which is in an inequality quadratic inequality so uh, now it's for you to factorize the quadratic factorize Here you have 3x x uh, 1 and 2 uh, 1 and 2 so uh, you have positive here right so I, I mean to put positive here and here to be negative right because 2 3 6 6 minus 1 you have 5 right okay now I have to in my mind I I, I will draw I will using graphical approach all right I draw a quadratic a quadratic since the quadratic is positive right so I have to open upwards right open upwards so all right so uh, in this case I'm going to include include the roots of this quadratic so because it can be equal zero if you put negative 2 can be accepted negative 2 can be accepted because it's in, it can be 0 right so 1 over 3 also so you have negative 2 this one if it equals to 0 it will be negative 2 and this one will be 1 over 3 right positive 1 over 3 so we're going to decide either they are above the x-axis means that this region or this region right uh, so above will be positive positive and this one will be negative right so if you see that less than zero this quadratic is less than zero means the value of y is negative you know right it's negative so if a negative so i'm going to take the region below right uh, this region all right uh, this region where the y value is negative right the y value is negative in this region from negative 2 up to 1 over 3 so okay therefore the solution will be you can write in set solution where uh, the answer will be negative 2 in between negative 2 and 1 over 3 include negative 2 and include 1 over 3 right so this will be the solution for this quadratic inequalities so you have to understand the meaning of uh, solution right you also have to understand the meaning of solution you just you don't just find it or oh, this is my answer all right why this is your answer right so because you choose any value here you can choose any value you want to choose a negative one if you want to choose negative one negative one is between these two number so you can choose negative one if you put negative one i choose negative one Uh, this side you will get zero right get zero and this one you will get two four four definitely more than zero not equal also never mind as long as more than zero it's satisfied if you put it will be greater than zero uh, it's greater all right so what if you not what if you put value that not in this range any value that not in this range for example i choose to be one right one is outside the range so i choose uh one or maybe I choose uh, 2, right? 2, okay? I can choose 2. So 1 minus 2, 3 times 2, 2 plus 1, right? You put 2. So uh, this one you have negative 2. This is uh, 6, 6, 3, 18. Is this true? This is false, right? False. Uh, false. Any, any value of x, they're out of the range will give you a false statement, right? False statement. 
So it means that th that's why this is so important that the, uh, the solution here, they will tell you what satisfied this inequality, right? Uh, so that's all for this video. 